Warning, some viewers may be too serious to enjoy the following video. Yo, what's up, Mangs? We're here at Six Flags New England, man. And there's probably like four people here. This is like the closest I've ever parked to this park. There's like four cars. I haven't been here in three years. Uh, Dan hates this park with I a don't passion. Like it very much. I'm not corrupted yet with this place, but apparently like I will be according to Dan and Logan. So we're just gonna send it. It's like lightly raining. And I swear to God, there's like four people here. Respect to the greater states that have Wawa. Massachusetts doesn't have that shit. It's so dead today that they have one car ops in the tram. One car ops! At the sound of the horn, the tram will be in motion. No more boarding, please stand back. Mind Eraser is pretty good. Good credit. I'm glad, I'm glad they kept it and they just reincarnated in someone else. Dan just questioned if um, Goliath is going to be open today. We'll let you answer that in the comments because yeah. I'm pretty sure you all know the answer. We're walking up the stairs right now that Six Flags currently makes money on. You got to make money on anything, you know? Like advertisements everywhere, ad revenue is everything. Is your cat making too much noise all the time? Is your cat constantly stomping around, driving you crazy? <laughs> Dan owns stocks, so he makes money off stocks. So he doesn't walk around with advertisements all over him, which yeah. is basically what Six Flags would be doing if Six Flags was Dan. If I was Six Flags, I would wear M&M shirts and probably get paid like a dollar. All right, guys, once again, that $15 a month Sesame Plaza this budget $7 pass a month gets me to Six Flags. It ain't quite $15 a month, not that quality. Yeah, basically we woke up today after a long night of just chilling last night, like we were watching some music videos and stuff. And we, we decided, like, hey, we, we need to go to a park, so we figured we would just fill the minimal requirement for going to a park. Um, Dan hates this park with I don't a passion. Like it very much. And this this meets the criteria. We're gonna start off with the best ride here. That's a good ride, great yeah, ride. Very good. 10 out of 10. I had to get that wah wah out, you know? We can go home now. Yeah, I don't know. We might have to fill our boomerang quota somehow today. I mean, this nicer one, that's kind of nice until they ruined it with their new terms. It's closed, so we might have to settle with that one over there, which is even worse, so. Wicked Cyclone literally just had like eight people on the train right now, if that. So. It's a little crowded. I don't know if we're gonna have a great day. Look at this line, guys. I really can't handle this. This yeah. is unacceptable, man. This is why we usually don't come here. Yeah, six flags. Yeah, Seven dollars a month gets me this. Like, ugh. Absolutely the best ride I've ever had on Wicked yeah. Cycle. Am I, it's, am I usually a world's biggest fan of that thing? I mean, no, it's really good. I just, I don't like it as much as other RMCs. Usually. It's running it's so fast. Like, I've been on it a yeah. few times. The last time I rode it was in 2016. It's like Storm Chaser powerful today. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like, this is this is better than Medusa Steel Coaster. Like, I don't Storm Chaser today, I'll tell you that. Yeah, that too. It's better than Storm Chaser. It's like totally upper tier RMC right now. Like honestly, when I first rode this in 2015, like, I was having like it's weird like wheel issues. It was running slower some days, and I rode it on a slower day, and I didn't know if I like this or Superman more. But not as of right now, this is way better than Superman. This is <laughs> this ride is ridiculous. The yeah, first time I rode this was towards the end of 2015, Labor Day weekend, and it was before I really got on a lot of coasters, and I was shook when I rode this thing. Yeah, we're, we're going right back on. RMC, so. This is my first RMC too. Slaps. Wicked Cyclone, Coaster Idiot approved, El Toro Ryan approved. Absolutely, this ride slaps. Once you get to the top, get ready to drop. Enjoy your ride on Wicked Cyclone. Woo! Been a cop of front row ride. 
no way. And we got we got a full train of riders we're gonna ride with, so our ride's gonna, we're gonna send it. Front row slapped, but something that doesn't slap is the park is closing at three o'clock now, which we just found out. Which I'm not surprised. So, so f this place. We should have just went somewhere else. We should have went to a compound, which just yeah. closed. I think we officially got screwed over. I mean, we did this knowing we showed up on a rainy day, so I mean, we can't complain that much. But still, f this place. Hey, what the f? I'm mad. So I think today is pretty much just gonna be ride the essential credits and bounce. Yeah. Which we were probably gonna do anyway. But yeah, now we just have to do it on a faster timetable. So time is ticking, man. Make the video faster now. <laughs> I'm gonna go on this for the first time in years because how often is the line this short? I think Goliath is more open, open more often than the line is this short, so we, we gotta send it. Third shot. I think that was the best ride I've ever had on like any of these spinning models. That was ridiculous. I we unbalanced that. that car for sure. It was so unbalanced. We were the only two people in it. I, I wish we got footage of that <laughs> Yeah, it was wild. Like it was so much spinning, like so much airtime. It was one thing that the line, there was no line. These things always have a ridiculous line, but it, it was, that slapped, that was go. They got no spinning going on. That wasn't like our ride. Thank God I already have that credit, so I don't have to waste our time with that because it's already 1.43, so the park closes like an hour and 18 minutes or whatever, so yeah, we're going to bounce. Can't see sh**. Dan's blind. So the games people are really pushing us to try and play games today. They're like practically follow us down the midway like twice to try and play a game, which I think is more than like I asked you guys to like, comment, subscribe, which you should do anyway, you know, like, comment, subscribe, man. And here we have the latest victim of the Six Flags budget cuts, Crapper Grammar. Yeah, like we're all idiots, but we know there should be an S right there. Like, come on, what are they doing? Is it, they just gonna afford the S? These too many S's and six flags? Like, there's two S's? Oh, come on, what the hell? Look at this nice restraint here, the nice vest, provided by Elon Musk and Tesla. Yes. So let's give this a go, let's see how, see how it runs. So I mean, we didn't headbang, but, you know, wheel gaps? Wheel gaps much, or like... Yeah, pretty much. Unsmooth track. No, it's not rough, it just, it just really bangs you around. Yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah. Oh yay, another clone. So this is just a credit. I'm 425 now. Gang, gang. I think some of the employees here could use some work though. Like in terms of like how to speak. You know, the dude literally mumbled, no bags. <laughs> like what do we do with like, it, dude? No bags. <laughs> no bags. Like, well, where do we put it? Batman. First try. When does that ever happen? <laughs> these, these are more reliable than Goliath, that's for sure. I think the operations here are more reliable than Goliath. <laughs> to get more footage of the coasters here but Six Flags New England just had decided to close early after the rain stopped. So at one point in time this ride was highly regarded as one of the best roller coasters in the world. In fact it would win best seal roller coaster in the world all the time but now not so much. Not so much. Six Flags New England took the trains off and ruined it but it's still pretty good. It's not bad. One train up! Guys, oh my god, I'm in love. These 
lap bars. Oh, so big and chunky and thick. Demonstrate, put that down. Oh. Yeah, right, right in the groin region. Yeah. So if you guys didn't know, this is basically just the original train where like you had a T-bar that was positioned out of here. So the cylinders are still right here and then they just kind of made it into a makeshift like U-bar where they just come out the sides. So I might have to take back what I said before about this being better than Medusa Seal Coaster. You probably already know, but like RMCs with like wet tracks, they're, they're super slicked up. So the train runs like way faster. So it's not raining anymore and it's all dried out now. So it was like way slower. It was more like the rides I had in like 2015, 2016. All right guys, so sadly that's gonna conclude our day at Six Flags New England. Is it really that sad though? Um, Dan hates this park with I a passion. Like I guess we get to go home, which is good. So yeah. This park's okay. We're gonna go play with some balls at the bowling alley. You know, we love, just this one's for Logan. We're gonna play big balls for Logan because he's not here. So we'll do something that Logan would like to do. Oh, actually, it's, it's it's a lot more like Logan than you think. It's like little balls and tiny little pins. They're actually really small balls. Look at these balls, they're tiny. You like that, Logan? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah. yeah, like, comment, subscribe. All right, so we got those one car ops. Look at this line right now. Like literally one car on the tram. We got this line of people going out. Logan, can you can you pop in here for us really quick? One car ops! All right, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, yeah, check out some other videos. Last ride of the day, Mantis.